So let's talk about creating sustainable change with human design. A big part of the Restful Hustle Academy, which is my signature program that just opened for registration, is deconditioning. It's also helping you to connect with and heal with your inner child. These are very, very deep topics, which is why the first week we're focused on coming into the body, anchoring down into the body, which I talked about in my last video. And then next we're going to talk about creating sustainable change, which I use as a part of my deconditioning process with myself and all of my clients. So if you are interested in learning more about that, go ahead and keep watching. If you are new here, my name is Ebony. I am a human design reader, expert, and coach. So the number one thing that we need to have in order to create effective transformation and sustainable change when we're working with human design is love. Transformation happens through love. And if you see me looking down, it's because I have notes because I really wanna make sure that I touch on everything. When we are making a change, when we're trying to create a new habit, when we're trying to um, curve a destructive pattern, sometimes we have a tendency to come from this judgmental place, this criticizing place. I didn't do this right. I need to change this. My body doesn't look the way I want it to. I didn't do this correctly, right? And we think by pointing out all the things that we've done wrong, all the things that didn't work, we will push ourselves into the direction that we want to go in. We will push ourselves into the habit or the pattern that we want to achieve. And this is actually not the case. Coming from this criticizing and judgmental place is not where the sustainable change is going to happen. You have to cultivate a loving presence in order to create the sustainable change because for two reasons. Number one, having a loving presence, right? allows you to set a vision. So you can, let, let's use body, right? Let's say that I'm 15 pounds heavier than I want to be, right? Instead of criticizing myself and judging myself and trying to shame my body into losing the weight, I can love my body the way it is now, or at the very least accept the way my body is now, right? And set a vision for what I know is possible for me. So it's, it's the difference between I have to change this because I don't like it and I love you anyway and I know what's possible, right? It's acknowledging where you are. It's loving yourself as you are and then setting the vision for what you want to be true. Setting the vision for what you know is possible. Setting the vision for your potential that you intend to reach. There's two very different energies, two very different spaces that we are holding. And one is much more sustainable and effective than the other. Now, number two, the reason why creating a loving presence and having a loving space when you're doing, especially inner child healing work and deconditioning work, which, deconditioning work, which we do a lot in the Restful Hustle Academy and just in general with my one-on-one -on -one clients, is that when you cultivate a loving presence, when you come into the space where you meet every pattern with love, every thought with love, every experience with love, you are now creating the space for those wounded parts, those parts that need to be healed, the parts that need to be integrated, the parts that need your awareness in order to shift and change. You are allowing the space for those parts of you to come up so that you can shine your light, so that you can shine your awareness on them and that they can change right? Because think of it this way. If there's something in your subconscious mind, if there's something in your body that needs to be healed and needs to be integrated, do you think it's going to be easier for that thing to come up in a loving presence or in a judgmental and criticizing presence, right? If I feel like I'm going to be judged and criticized and yelled at and shunned, if I make myself known, why would I do that? <laughs> right? Like, why, why, why would I put myself through that, right? But if I know hey, if I come up to be healed, if I come up to be integrated, this person's gonna meet me with love. They're gonna tell me that it's okay and they're gonna work with me. I'm a little more, you know, I, I might be like, okay, that, cool, cool, cool. It's not gonna be like, let, like, let's hate on Ebony Train, right? It's not gonna be that. So when you create this space, when you create this loving presence, everything within you that needs to be healed has the space to come up. And when it comes up, you can shine your awareness on it. You can start to work through it. You can start to heal it. You can start to integrate it. But none of that work can be done 
if you don't know that it's there and you won't know that it's there until it comes up and it won't want to come up if you're just going to criticize it, right? So <laughs> those are two of the biggest reasons why I think cultivating a loving presence is so important, especially in human design, especially when you're doing deconditioning work, especially when you're doing inner child healing, and especially when you're working with the areas in your chart where you are undefined. This is where we, we believe that we're not enough. It's the places where we think that everyone else has got to figure it out and you don't. Like you're behind the curve, you're, you know, <laughs> trailing the pack, right? This is where we criticize ourselves the most. So loving those areas, loving those non-selves, and meeting those experiences with love so that you can heal, so that you can integrate, and so that and so that and so you can surrender is really, really important. And we go into that very deeply in the Restful Hustle Academy. Now, another thing that I think is important, especially when we're talking about creating sustainable change, is that you can have all the tools in the world. You can have all the tools, you can know all the mindset tricks and tips and all of that. Your presence, your loving presence is more effective and more transformational than any tool you could ever use. Because the space in which that tool is being used, the space in which you are doing that practice is what is going to tip the scales. It's not just, oh, well, I'm gonna do this meditation because I have to so I can make the change, right? Oh, I'm gonna do this thing because this person told me to do it. I don't really want to, but, right? The space that you hold when you're working with whatever tool, when you're working with whatever practice is just as important, if not more important than the practice itself. Having a loving presence cultivates connection and connection creates communication and communication is the foundation for transformation. All of these pieces are important and it starts with having a loving presence coming from the space of, I love you anyway. I love you anyway. And this is such, such a big piece of the Restful Hustle Academy and what I teach my clients within this space. So if you are interested in how I personally decondition, how I help my clients decondition, how to create a routine for yourself, how to live in alignment and live in flow and, and create this loving presence of love for yourself, then I recommend that you click the link in my description box and sign up for the Restful Hustle Academy. I would love to have you inside. I will link my Gates playlist in case you have not seen it, and I will see you in the next video.